Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I wanted to talk about the energies as we have it right now. So this is more of an energy update. It's, we're talking about um, the energies that we've experienced in the last couple of weeks and what do they mean for us really? So we've just had um, a partial lunar eclipse in the full moon. Uh, it was on Sunday, uh, this past Sunday. And um, I'm recording this on uh, Tuesday, the 7th of July, 2020. And so um, what I wanted to talk about was what did we actually experience in the last couple of weeks? Because what many of you would have felt is, is like things were kind of um, like they were heating up, but then you'd come to some kind of place where you felt comfortable. And in the state of comfort, you could, you had learned how to be able to, to function and what you needed to be able to do. But then suddenly it was as if, um, things had kind of gotten out of control. And, uh, the last couple of weeks you might've found, uh, that you didn't have control of things, that you didn't have control of yourself necessarily, that you may have re responded in a more emotional manner than you normally would have. You might have found yourself saying things um, that you didn't actually mean or saying things that came out the wrong way. Um, you might have found that others had the tendency to do the same, that somehow people might have been trying too hard or trying too hard where it really wasn't necessary. Or you might have felt that it, it was trying too hard, even though that would be normally an appropriate thing to do. So what does all of this mean and where is it that we are going to? Well, I think that this is an excellent time to shed, you know, to let go of, to remove, to reduce, to, um, to just let go of a lot of things. And in order to let go of a lot of things, things need to be unlocked. They need to come to the surface in order for us to let go of it, particularly emotions. And so in this case, what's happening is that a lot of repressed feelings or feelings where where we felt like you know we know what's going on we know how to deal with the situation yes that is the status quo and we are coping with it well it it might have felt like you're not coping with it or all of these emotions have come to the surface and you've had to deal with it so if you are still in that state um you know it's going to come to an end pretty soon like within the next day or so and so where is it that we go to from here? What is it that we do now? Um, and that is the question. So I think that what many of us need to do is understand that what has come up for us in the last couple of weeks uh, or, or the last three weeks, I would say, as we were heading up to this um, lunar eclipse in, the, in this full moon, um, is that what we're going to be dealing with in the next couple of years has come to the surface and has show, it's shown us what we're going to be what we're going to be working with or what it is that we need to prioritize and so it is us it is up to us to understand what it what has come our way and how it is that we're going to um prioritize this and how it is that we're going to work with this but we can only do that when the dust is settled and when things have it come to a state of calm where we can reflect back on it rationally and, and take a look at what needs to happen here. And that I think is just going to come along by the, by mid August. I feel like a lot of what we're going to experience now between, um, in this month of July and the beginning of August is really the settling down of these energies. And in order for these energies to settle down, you're still needing to deal with them. You're still needing to cope with them. And then come mid-August, you're going to have a lot more control or feeling like um, you know what to do next. And so the reason I felt the need to talk about this, um, aside from the fact that I know that people have been struggling quite a lot, um, uh, is that I think it's important to really observe what is coming up right now and what is what is left over after that watershed you know what is left over what is it that we are working with what is it that we have to go on with and to be able to identify that whether it's in terms of relationships with people or whether it's in terms of one's work or one's attitude towards oneself one's perception of oneself these are the kind of things that are important right now because 
you know, it's like we're redefining ourselves. It's like we're rebuilding up ourselves and we have the possibility to be able to do that. So if you're not doing that, then I just want to say that there aren't many times that come along where you are able to do that. So seize this opportunity and, and work with it. You know, if you feel like you need change, if you feel like there can be some improvement in your life or you just want to go in a different direction. Well, this is a time in which you can harness that energy to be able to do so. And it's not always as easy as this. You know, it's as if you the, it's moving underneath you, you know, it's shifting underneath you. And so you can actually decide in whichever direction you're going to go with this thing. It's not fixed and you are not fixed either. So, you know, all the variables are, are changing right now. And this is why it's an excellent time to be able to just take a deep breath, calm down and understand where it is that you're going to and how it is that you want to go about uh, the next phase of your life. Because I would say that, you know, as I said many a couple of times in the last few energy forecasts, this is the beginnings, you know, this is the beginning of the decade. It wasn't in January, as many of us thought. It It's now. Now is the beginning. And we've come, we've ended already. We've ended, we've finished that residual energy from 2019 and, and what hit us at in the beginning of 2020. And what's going to come for the next six months is completely different. Okay. So it's about being able to accept that and not still be hanging on to what's happened earlier this year or what we've been you know what we're struggling with or what you might have um you know some kind of post-traumatic stress response to it's about being able to say okay well i'm working with that and if you are having a post-traumatic uh, traumatic stress response to it, then really be able to say okay well this is what's happening right now and i'm going to be working with that and then I'm moving on. But to be able to actually um, understand what's going on right now and then being able to understand the time frame in which you're working and what it is that you're going to be doing after this. Because what it is that you're going to be doing after this is actually where the exciting stuff comes in. It's, it's you know, come mid-August, we will be setting off on a new path. And so you, you are at that point where you need to chart that path you need to to chart your destiny and you need to understand where it is that you're going to now i want to say that 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 pertains mostly to yourself and your own goals and where it is that you wanting to head to um and that is in terms of your work in terms of your personal life in terms of your home life etc but in terms of relationships this is a bit of a different kind of energy so what you're gonna have found or what you have found sorry what you would have realized in the recent weeks is that um you you found people in a different light you see people in a slightly different light and this has got much to do with the energy and what much to do with how you feel about yourself right now and how tender you might be feeling or how sensitive you might be feeling or how how uh, raw you might be feeling. And so the, your perception of people right now is not something that you can count on. Your perception of relationships right now is not something that you can depend on because it's something that is actually going to, um, it's going to change, you know. These people are not as you see them right now. They are as you see them through a lens of someone who has been going through, um, through a time where you're just trying to get through these energies, right? And so, I think that it's important to realize that people are, you, you know, they're not as they as you think they are right now. And uh, you don't need to make any uh, permanent decisions regarding your relationships. Just let this energy pass. You're going to feel quite differently about some of these people um, a little bit later on. And uh, you're going to have changed your perception. So don't be eager to make up your mind about something right now or to cut people away or to feel angry at someone because they haven't responded in the way that you would like them to respond. This is really important right now. Okay, I just want to take this opportunity to, to apologize for the background sounds. Um, there's just a lot of sounds going on today and I also have people working here and um, so it's a little bit crazy. Um, okay, anyway, having said that, um, I want to just say that in terms of health, your health, and in terms of one's well-being, okay, uh, you might find that some of the feelings or some of the uh, whatever you've been experiencing around April 
uh, in the beginning of May, maybe until the end of May, say from about mid-April to the end of May, it might come to pass again. So you might be experiencing some of those symptoms or some of those, um, it might be like regurgitators. Whatever you experienced back then, it might come up again. Now, if you've had food poisoning back then, don't expect to have food poisoning now. It's not going to work like that. Like if you've had food poisoning back then, then maybe you'll just experience a bit of nausea or some of the other symptoms related uh, to, to food poisoning now. So just be aware of that and, and don't be too concerned about it. And not to say that you shouldn't seek out uh, your doctor's advice during this time, but I just wanted to let you know this. So if you're wondering why is it that you're experiencing the same thing, of course it won't happen to every single one of you. But for those of you who who um, who are experiencing this, um, it's necessary for you to recognize that this is just a reminder. It's like pegging on to April. It's pegging on to what happened in May and it's sewing it all up together and, and basically telling you, okay, well, this is, we pulling this all together in like a bundle, tying it up. And that is, we're leaving it there because we've worked with that enough now. And um, in terms of your body, it's like the memory that's in your cells that's coming up to the fore and saying okay well thank you we've had this experience we're moving on and you may have had whatever uh, health related issues for m many many reasons for a myriad of reasons but right now there is this chance to shed health issues as well and some of you might be saying well well, how can you say that? Because I mean, I'm actually really unwell right now and I'm really feeling sick and, and, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm getting rid of it. I thought I'd gotten rid of it. Now it's come back again. Well, I want to say, don't worry about that. It's, it's just temporary. You have regained a degree of strength in the last while, and this is there to take you through. Now, this is not to say for those of you who do have health problems that everything is resolved once and for all. You are on a journey and there is a, a strengthening, there is a recuperation, uh, a rehabilitation involved. And um, this is the time in which one can say, okay, well, I've come to the end of this, whether it be a disease or some kind of illness or some kind of um, pl something that's plaguing you um, physiologically. And you can just say, well, you know, that that's done now. And now what do we do now to recover from this? What is it? What is the step forward into greater vitality and greater well-being? And those are the kind of plans that you're going to be making. And that is what you're going to need to be catering for as we go ahead. So I don't want this video to be very, very long. Uh, I just want to say that I'm going to shoot the Oracle card reading uh, now. I wasn't doing so well. I wasn't feeling so well this weekend, so I didn't do it. And uh, I was planning actually to skip it, but I have some energy now. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do that. And um, I'm sorry. Um, well, I'm actually not sorry that it's late anymore because I kind of feel that it's it's falling on a Tuesday now. This, this uh, Oracle card guidance is coming up on... Um, on, on the Tuesday and maybe just for the moment I'm going to go with that and see what it where it brings me you know perhaps it brings me back to the Sunday there's a lot of um upheaval in my life as well right now so it's very difficult to kind of cope with all the the things that I need to do and um and so perhaps uh that is you know when when things come back to normal uh, then um uh, and when I'm a bit more settled, then I will be able to manage to to do the Oracle card guidance on a Sunday again or on a Monday. So uh, I do thank you for your patience and I thank you for your patronage. I thank you for all your support and all your love. And I love reading all your messages. So please send me more. Um, just an announcement. So there were a bunch of readings that I, um, I recorded back in... Um, sometime towards the end of last year which were for the beginning of, of this year and the beginning of 2020 as a decade and I haven't been able to I've lost the files the files have been corrupted and so I haven't been able to reco recover that and so I know that you're probably not waiting for that anymore I just wanted to mention it because I made I said I would make these videos and I hadn't done them I also said I'd make some more videos while I'm here um in my apartment in in South Africa but because uh, I have a lot of tarot cards here and I want to use them all but I haven't been able to to find the time to be able to do all of that stuff and um yeah I I want to you know it's not that I don't want to and all of those asking me all the time across the my various videos if I would please do these videos and that, those videos I would love to do those videos I just am struggling to find the time to be able to 
uh, do just basics right now in terms of my work and my daughter's education and, and uh, just managing life itself. So as soon as those things settle, then I will definitely love to do more of those readings um, for you all. And in the mean and um, yeah, in the meanwhile, I just want to wish you all a very lovely rest of July. I'll probably come back to you with an energy forecast at the end of July as we head into August. Um, stay together, stay cohesive in yourself. I think that's what's important right now. Trust yourself, trust what's coming up. Understand that it's a great time to shed. And so let go easily have no resistance towards letting go. I think that's what's really important at this moment. Just allow it to let go. And, you know, wherever you find yourself, make the best of it. Because you might find yourself in a completely different space than you actually expected to find yourself. And um, it might be quite discouraging, you know, at the beginning. You might think, why is this happening to me? But I want to just say, just go with it. There's a reason that it's happening in that way. And, you know, it's going to be better. And, and come August, you're going to find that you are at home, you know, you are actually in yourself again, and that you are able to move along and you're going to be fine. And on that note, I'm going to wish you all a fantastic July. It's going to be good. And, um, even if it's different. <laughs> and uh, I want to say, you know, think about where you want to go to from here. Think about the direction that you want to head into and what it is going to be like when you're there. All right. So sending you a lot of blessings, a lot of love and blessings found from Kismet Rising.